Hey, what's up guys, this is a quick little guide to show you how to make a Minecraft server using a server manager. So check it out. First thing you need to do is grab a copy of Java. But you need to make sure you download the Java 64-bit, which you can see right here. It's the Windows Offline 64-bit. If you don't get the 64-bit Java, you will only be able to use 1 gig of RAM on your server, which is not good. Okay, simply download it and install it. Yes, and it will install Java 64-bit. Cool. The uh, next thing you'll need to download is NetFramework 4.7.2. And this is all stuff you have to download before actually downloading the server manager, otherwise it won't install. Go grab this. Now that you have that, you need to get the server manager. So the server manager I'm using is MC Serversoft. It's basically the only one I can find for Windows. So grab the server manager. Okay, so we're now ready to create the server. So just click create. You'll get different server types you can do that prioritize different types of things. Uh, you see this one is more high performance, this one's more used for modding, this is more vanilla. Um, so I'm just going to pick Spigot. Server name, whatever you want it to be, how much RAM you use. Right now I've been using 8 gigs. Port. Port can be anything really as long as it's not being used. Um, for Arc, we've been using 27018. Um, I'm picking that one because I already have it forwarded in my router, but let me go ahead and show you how to do that really quick. So, you can go to this website right here, portforward.com, to find a guide on how to port a port for your router. But, let me go ahead and show you how to port a port, at least in my router. So, you need to find out how to first get into your router, but if you don't know how to do that, you go to CMD, type in IP config, and you use this right here, your default gateway. Is 192.168.0.1. Most of the time it's that, but it can be different. Okay, so forwarding a port is simply finding that feature in your router um, and just typing it in right here and what computer you want to use it. This is my server. So, using this one, so hit next. Okay, you gotta get the server file. For me, it's right here, so there's Spigot. I already have it downloaded. So I'm going to add that server file in. And creating the server is done. So now, you're not really done with the whole port issue. You actually have to add firewall exceptions the computer that is going to be hosting the server otherwise it will just try to block people from trying to connect to it so you need to go to windows firewall advanced settings you have inbound rules and outbound rules so i'm not going to go through the whole extent of adding these here because i'm not hosting the server on this computer and this is kind of a pain in the ass but it's as simple as a new exception, hit port. You type in the port you want to open up. Now you're going to have to do this each time for TCP and UDP. Um, just tell it to allow the connection. And just name it probably, you know, Minecraft server or something. 
Now, not only are you going to have to do this to your server port on TCP UDP for that, you're also going to have to add the same exceptions for here. For, uh, where is that? It should be right here. Your query port right here. So you have to add exceptions for that also. So in total, there should be four TCP UDP for your server port, TCP and UDP for your query port. And I say that because you're also, I don't think you need it on that bound, but it'd probably be a safe bet to go in and do it there too. So that'd be a total of eight exceptions you have to add to Windows Firewall. All right, so now that everything is forwarded and your server set up, you're probably going to want to make sure that someone can actually access it. So, website right here called Can You See Me is a port checker tool. So, we said our port was, my server is 27018. So, we just want to check. Yes, it's open. That means someone can actually get to it. Um, this will only show up if the server is running. So, if I shut off the server, that port will now not work. I can show you that. So the server is running on my server right now. Let me shut it off. Okay, server is stopped. Yeah, you know it's not going to work when it takes a little while to load. And it's off. So yes, server is working. Here's some of the things that the server manager is able to do. Roll. Um, you know, our cord mode. Some of the things you might actually want to consider on checking is like PvP. You can kill each other on accident. That's kind of annoying. Um, this is a pretty one. Your uh, difficulty modes. I'll say right now, uh, at least what I've seen, normal, even normal mode is kind of a pretty hard, survival creative. Mode. Uh, one thing you might want to change right here is the view distance. Um, by default, it's pretty bad. You're probably going to want to make that a little bit better. I think right now I'm playing on 21. This still feels kind of bad. You can't really see that far. But, you know, the more you crank that up, the more load you're going to put on your computer. So if you don't really have a good server with, like, a good amount of memory that you can allocate for the server, it's going to get a little rough and lag a lot if you jack that all the way up. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't know if you know what whitelisting is, but that is where you can like only let certain people in. So I think this one's based off of what their name is. Um, yeah, your your player cap. You can turn that up or down. Although it doesn't really matter if you're just going to you have it to twenty and only if only four people is going to use it, it's not going to add any additional load to the server to change that up or down. Uh, okay. What else we got? Um, one issue I'm having right now is this isn't updating. Yet. So you should be seeing who's online on your server. It updates if you're in game and someone comes in, it will say, hey, so and so logged in, but this just isn't updating for me. Uh, your server load. That's something you want to keep an eye on as you're starting out doing this. You don't want your. Uh, have to be maxing out. So yeah, that's a uh, quick guide for MC ServerSoft, like the only server manager I can find for Windows. Thanks for watching.